Seth Chaikin, and he's a professor here in the computer science department. He's going to talk about uh, Linux, Linux, and the students' hands-on experience. Okay, uh, thank you. So I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Please type this in. This is a a self-referential. My slides are self-referential. Really cool. Uh, there's a circular circularity in the link. So I'll tell you to the URL for the last. The, uh, the latest version of the course, the latest presentation of the course, I'll tell you to type it in. Uh, HTTP. Yeah, don't do it in Google. It won't Google. Do it in the uh, <laughs> uh, do it in the uh, URL. Just put the URL. So it's uh, 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 www.cs. Uh, Yes. Yeah, CS dot Albany uh, dot I'll have to edit this uh, dot edu and then slash tilde SDC STC SDC DC they can check it SDC slash uh, I'll see, capital CSI 500. That's going to be a good work? Yeah, that's all, but it's, the beginning is this. So I'll take care of it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. So uh, let me get the URL right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll get going. So, uh, all right. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, so there, this is the website for the for the course. Uh, this is the, the latest iteration. And on it, there's a link. See, it says a link here. Presentation about this course. So I'll click on that to start the presentation. And I, and I did test it before coming here. Uh, the technology is the uh, W3C's slidey package in case you have web web crazy, uh, uh, web 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 uh, developers web no, web web publishers if you want to make a slide presentation uh, and do it with do it on the web do it with the web pages that's a you know low it's a low overhead technology uh you could let's see how do you do this do plus and try I think it's a plus that blows it up. Yeah, so you can make the make the picture make these. So, so uh, the the course um, I'll be talking about I'll be talking about the role of of Linux in its uh, in particular its its free open source nature uh, in the uh, in the operating systems course that my department that I in my department have taught the last four last four times before. Uh, so the course was last offered in the fall. I taught it this way three previous times. It the enrollment is 15 to 25 grads or undergrads. It's a joint so-called joint resource course. They are they are CS majors or masters or PhD. Uh, aspiring graduate students. The course is required for the computer science master's degree or the PhD, and it's an elective, upper level elective for the bachelor students. It's I like to teach. I like to I, I like it scheduled to be one hour, three times a week, short periods, plus a one a two hour laboratory for every student. And when I, and, well, I, 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 I teach everything. I teach the laboratories as well as the lectures. Now, here's what it is. It's uh, the textbooks. There are two textbooks. One is a standard hardcover textbook, Tannerbaum's Modern Operating Systems, published by Pearson, definitely not free. And Bovea Cassetti, Understanding the Linux Kernel, published by O'Reilly Press. And I, 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 see, I, 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 if you can see in the back, it's blue. Uh, no, it's, it's a sim symbolism to the blue color there. Uh, about the, the support that O'Reilly gives to various more or less open and collaborative uh, publishing attitudes. 
So, uh, now I took from the syllabus uh, these learning goals which, uh, which we express as demonstrable skills. Uh, uh, so, I'll read them to you. We'll explain what a complex hardware software system does. Explain what a system does during normal and abnormal operational scenarios and drill down to details of those subsystems that we study. And then since it has to be a particular system, the one we study in, in our operating systems course is modern general purpose computer operating environments with an emphasis on, on Linux and Unix, Linux and Unix family of, of systems. Second learning goal is do intermediate complexity C and some Intel assembly projects that utilize or simulate the technologies in the, in the subject. Okay. Third skill we, 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 we aspire to uh, leave the students with when they successfully complete the course is to solve problems. Uh, problems in the form to analyze a scenario uh, typical of each topic. That includes identifying and compare sequences of alternative choices. Uh, utilize numbers, graphs, formulas, sequence diagrams, etc., together with accurate logical reasoning. Anything you know you expect this at college. College graduates will be yeah, that's what you want to do. Uh, and then uh, goal four is to actually install Linux systems, build Linux kernels and kernel modules find and annotate the code in Linux sources for given operating system functions, run, debug, and test, I should say experiment with, uh, kernel modifications and modules, and report and interpret operating system behavior using system tools, using system tools and uh, system interfaces.